Hello, Jesse Good here with another Lego SpongeBob review. It's been a while since I've done one of these. It's Good Neighbors at Bikini Bottom with 425 pieces, three minifigures, and this retailed for $40 back when it was released in 2009. This was voted on by my $2 Up Patreon supporters to be the next review set in the last poll. So if you're interested in voting for upcoming review polls, just click that card up there. And let's get this bad boy open, because even though it is a damaged box, it was never opened before. We'll just pour out all those pieces. That is a lot of orange. And we also have instructions right here, some stickers at the back, and even more pieces. So a lot of pieces for a $40 set. I guess if this was released nowadays, it'd be like 50 or 60. And here's the set all built up. Now let's take a look at those minifigures. Here is SpongeBob SquarePants, and the face print in the set is exclusive. Well, unless you count this magnet set that all the figures in this set came in, but I won't really count that as another set because that was really hard to get. Other than that, though, this is the standard SpongeBob build where we do have just a plain yellow torso underneath, which this headpiece kind of wraps over and the small, short brown legs. But also included with SpongeBob is this nice reef blower build, which I like how this is built up using that hose piece with two different colors on it. Also, this blue flame at the end, which I remember back in the day, that was really hard to get. And there's this nice stickered one by two brick, which is stickered on both sides. We have one sticker there. And then we have another sticker right at the front, which is a little bit hard to see if it's getting blocked, but there you go. And it just attaches to SpongeBob via not only the hose that he's holding, but also this one by one clipped uh, plate. And that's just a clever build in general. So you could even adjust that as you'd like, though this hose will probably pop off. But yeah, nice little build for SpongeBob SquarePants. The Patrick of the set is pretty standard. You have that specific molded head introduced in 2006. Some nice printing on the torso that people still use to this day for shirtless people. And we have the legs as well, which I wish kind of were dual molded, but this was way before dual molding was even a thing. There's Squidward Tentacles, which has a specific and new molded head just for this set. Well, I guess it's not new anymore, but this was the only way to get that until 2012. Also, he has this pink book right here, which is actually a pretty nice accessory since it's not too common in that color. They did fix his hands as well from the 2006 version. This is just so much better than that crappy version with the regular minifigure head. I really like how this came out. So I'm glad to finally get this on my hands, but there is one last character of this set. And that is Gary. The design of this should have printed eyes in general, but they never did that for the cherry piece. But I do really love the printed discs at the side just for Gary. But that is it for the characters of this set. Now let's take a look at the build of the set. So this set has a lot of separate builds. Let's take a look at the pineapple house and what's inside first. The build of the pineapple house is different from the first version, which we reviewed a couple years back if you haven't checked that out. This one is a little bit less tall and the exterior is definitely less connected with the builds inside. This leaves a lot of space for builds inside, however, and there's some sticker details. There's a photo of Patrick. Also, this sticker right here, which is really poorly fit for the piece. It kind of gets messed up at the end there. And more photo frames at the side, as well as a mirror. Now, this door opens pretty easily. You just push it, and you'll see at the front it does have the ship wheel design. And I like how that build has come together. One thing I don't like, though, is this build right here for this chimney-esque build. It's not fit to really stand up, even though it's supposed to stand up. So you'll have it flopping to one side or the other, which is really annoying in my opinion. It's hard to get it to just stand up straight. You see? Other than that, there's these nice printed window designs, which are very similar, if not the same, to the 2006 version. And the top right here has a canopy-like design using hinge pieces and plates that kind of slant them to give it a nice pineapple top design, which I actually really like how this is built in particular with this part of the different leaves and everything for the top of the pineapple. It works out really well, but some of the pieces are very loose like this top disc. It tends to fall off very easily in my opinion. Either way, these are the builds that are made for the interior of the pineapple house. There's another launching bed build, which does have this printed part at the back. It's a very simple design, but it is very fun to just lay SpongeBob there then press at the edge here and have him launch into action. There's also a TV build, which uses a sticker at the front. That's a sticker across multiple pieces, which I really don't like. Other than that, though, it is a pretty neat design, at least. A useful sticker for sure. There's this chair right here, which does have another one of those printed circular tiles. 
Very simple build, but uh, you could, I guess, stand SpongeBob on there since he doesn't have movable legs as they're short. That fits pretty well. And finally, we have Gary's Bowl right here, which does have a sticker on it. I wouldn't even consider this a build. It's just literally one piece, a circular cylinder piece. But yeah, that's it for the interior builds. Now let's move on to the side outside builds. There's a lounge chair for Squidward Tentacles, which the design of this is pretty simple. You have a nice stripe variation there, but uh, other than that, not too much else going on. Also, there's this umbrella build for a little drink as well as a printed top. That dish print is actually not new. It's pretty old. I think it was even used in Pizza to Go, but I might be wrong about that. They also include a little grill design, which has a printed one by one on the side. And this has another launching play feature for the Krabby Patty, which the Krabby Patty build is similar to the one in the 2006 Krusty Krab. And if you push down here, it kind of goes launching. Patrick has a boat mobile, which the design of this doesn't have a pullback motor, unlike the 2007 Boating School version, though it is pretty similar. There's a nice steering wheel at the front, and they do a little wind glass display at the front. Also, there's a marshmallow launcher, which, yeah, this set is filled with launching play features. You put a one-by-one -one stud there, press down, and it launches that. And I do like how they have this little turbine at the back, but that's really it for the build of this. Let's take a look at one last part. And that last little part of the set is a jellyfish. Very nice piece in general. What they do is they recolor the chef's hat in this translucent pink. It looks awesome, in my opinion. And you could actually wear it on minifigures if you'd like, but none of the minifigures in the set could technically wear it because they don't have the traditional minifigure head size. But yeah, that's it for the builds of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. Here is a box for the set. Unfortunately, very banged up as you saw at the start. And the back has some little play features and stuff displayed. Here is the instructions for the set, which at the end, they do have the 2009 Krusty Krab set, which is one I reviewed way back. I don't even know if it's still public, but that's just the old set. Hope to get it someday again. So overall, the good neighbors of Bikini Bottom was always seen as an inferior version of the Bikini Bottom setup. Thankfully, with the next one, they added Squidward's house, but it has a party theming. And then with the first one, I think it's the most complete with Patrick's house. But even Patrick's house doesn't really look like how it should in the actual show. The design of this one in particular, I really like the exterior of the pineapple house. I think it's a step up from the last version. But other than that, the interior is a lot weaker. And I don't like how all these parts are so loose because it's hard to keep track of everything inside. It would have been better if stuff was connected. Other than that, though, the Squidward minifigure is probably the best part about this set. I love that molded head. It only came in one other set, which was the next iteration of Bikini Bottom. So if all that considered, I think this one is a pretty decent SpongeBob set, but not the best. Either way, what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.